slip of the tongue. Phelps, Bukowski. Beat cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there, see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. <laughs> We're on it, Captain. After every case, the captain's like, Good job, my man, Phelps, my boy. But every time in the beginning. I swear, the more vent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe a word of it. But every time in the beginning of a case, he's always like, get on it right now. Mrs. Phelps, we saw her in the beginning cutscene before, but um, yeah, these cases are pretty isolated. So between cases, well, there really isn't a between cases. And even right now when I'm looking around here, I don't think there's actually anything for me to see. Hmm. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. I wish we got to learn more about Cole a little bit. We haven't even had those military flashbacks for a while now. Hmm. It seems like there's multiple threads going on though. We have our usual cases that we're doing, and then we have the military flashbacks, but then we also have. Can we go out here? Ooh. Interview room. Nobody to be interviewed here. But we also have the the thing with the doctor and Courtney Sheldon and whatever. <laughs> All right, it's a bright new day. We're not working overtime at night today, which is always good. Do we want to go on the the incognito car today? Why not? Is it behind us? Turn right when you can. How about now? Go left. Nope. I'm not listening. <laughs> They're calling her the Dahlia now. I wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? What? So Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having your death strewn all over the front pages. Wait, don't they usually use this time to talk about the previous case? But we didn't do that case, did we? The previous case we had was the insurance fraud. Veronica Lake? Who the hell is that? Well, maybe that's just some famous murder that happened that isn't related? I don't know. Well, whatever. I'm just playing this in the order that they're giving me, but I think I've been told that some of these cases I'm playing right now are not included in the base game. They're from the DLC, so maybe that's what messes up the order a little bit. And we're here! What is it? Abandoned car? Uh, can we just like, cut in here? It's that car, isn't it? That one right there? Maybe? No? <laughs> Am I allowed to come in here like this? Oh, hold on, hold on. I can do this. Oh! Oh! <laughs> hey, hey, don't park my car there. 1237. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him. Oh, we had him. Come on. We had him earlier. Again? Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. Not the car, right? The car doesn't have to be healthy enough. 1247, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Stolen. What happens if we just keep chasing this guy? Because I don't particularly want to knock over everything on the roads. I don't want to hurt anybody. I mean, if it happens, it happens. But hey, I don't want to do that. So if I just keep chasing him. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. How, how does it make any sense for me to be like smashing into him anyway? Just, come on. I'm damaging my own car too. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. How's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. See, he's doing weird things with his car now. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Does that count for my vehicle damage? All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. Get bracelets on him, Phelps. 
I'll call it in. Out of the car now! Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. This guy looks like a student. Like a young person. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Cliff Harrison. Yeah, it doesn't mean that he didn't pay for it. He did pay for it, but the place that he got it from is probably the weird place here. Yeah, this kid just looks like just looks like some kid. Doesn't seem like a criminal. Sorry about your car. <laughs> yeah. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And the ownership papers? From the same place. They got no reason to doubt you. Harrison's- if this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. California Certificate of Ownership. Uh, well, I can't really... Yeah, I can't tell if it's fake or not. This certificate is evidence of legal ownership of vehicle. It describes, deposit in a safe place. Do not carry in vehicle. Why the hell does this guy have it on him? <laughs> when vehicle is sold, certificate must be properly endorsed and presented together with the issued registration card to the Division of Registration. Yeah, I'm finding that, like, sometimes the location where we find articles, evidence, is really weird. Because, like this says, this shouldn't be on this guy. And the previously, the insurance fraud. Like, why the hell would that guy have a letter of the insurance thing right on his body as he died? <laughs> I think I heard a car crashing earlier. Did you hear it? You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. Yeah, what's happening in the back there? Something's getting crushed. Oh, he looks a little nervous. There's no way we have evidence about this, though. Like, by the way he looks, he doesn't seem like somebody who... He looks like a preppy kid. He might have, like, a criminal record for theft or something, like, petty stuff. Uh, he is looking a little nervous, though. Hey, what's going on in the back there? No one's driving. I guess I'll try using intuition. 99.4! <laughs> 99 99.4. Ask the community, what is that? Is that, like, what, 50-50? Phone for help? <laughs> okay. Oh, I was wrong to trust you. You better give us something, Cliff, or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because... because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. I'm assuming that's some... some drugs. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. This guy's not that bad of a liar if you base it off facial expressions. Because earlier, even when he looked away, it was for like a really, really brief second. Not like those previous people who were like, oh, like looking all over the place. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arraigned for Grand Theft Auto. Right, Detective. You know who my father is? I don't we actually. Need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Oh, we don't get to see what happened here. The guy's car is gone, but I think the pieces of his car was probably like making it difficult to drive for other people. Um, do you want to drive this time? 
You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Coombs Automotive. You know what? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. I was gonna get that one wrong if I didn't use intuition. I was too trusting. But I think even if we got that one wrong, it would have been okay, because it wasn't related to the car. Not another step. I have got a Buick Century oh sedan my God. that would be absolutely perfect for you. Another car salesman? Not good for me. I'm not good against these guys. Detective Phelps, LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? No. Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. What the hell? What the hell is wrong with- That's a joke too, son. Mm. Well, do you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. <laughs> wow. Uh, isn't it kind of weird that he remembered that guy? How many sales does he make in a day? He remembers the specific make and the color? Uh, do we want to look around first? I don't hear music. All right. Yeah, let's try using some of these intuition points because we can only have five at a time, it seems. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Okay. Gene Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. Wait, so was this a resale? Like, it originally belonged to this guy? Oh, transfer by owner. Marquee printing? Wait, where are you seeing this? Oh, printed for the Department of Motor Vehicles by the Marquee Printing Company. Okay. Not sure why we would want to investigate the printing company. Isn't that a little bit too... specific? Okay. Coombs Automotive Company. Same date, yeah. January 11th, 1970, 47. Cliff Harrison, da da da. Didn't write down the AM or PM. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit at least. Yeah, this was the, the copy, right? Hmm. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas, shoot. He's a car salesman, okay? I've I've been done in by one of these already. We gotta be extra careful. <laughs> How do you look normally? Not jokey? No jokes? Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. This guy has a stone face. Yeah, okay. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Okay, so this guy is actually giving me... Not the same vibes as the previous salesman guy. Yeah, this guy seems like a... Hmm. The stolen car, like the lady? The lady who owned the car previously. She seems suspicious because she wanted the money in cash. And you want that because you don't want the trace of the money going anywhere. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. Little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. <laughs> 
You're lying. She was beautiful. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. She had to get rid of the car quickly because she didn't want to be associated with it. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. That's true. I'm not sure why Cole is fixating on the printing company at all. I want to trust him. Is it okay? He seems to be moving his head a little bit more than before, but... It's not like he's looking away. It says Marquee Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee? Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. What? When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Oh, oh. When did you hand over the check? Um, with the... I want to say it's one of these slips here, but I don't know which one. Is it maybe just a doubt? Because... Mm, yeah, if it's important, the date would be written in the notes section, right? But it's not written here. Hold on, what did he say? When did you hand over the check? Yeah, handing over the check. The date wouldn't be written here. No, okay. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. Not that you did anyway. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. How do I prove that it's not... Okay, it's doubt or lie. I just don't know which one it is. Mm, I mean, they have all the... Yeah, they have all the... The paperwork here, so it feels like maybe... Lie wouldn't really get me anywhere. Well, we can try it, right? Because we can always back out if it's wrong. <laughs> You're lying, Coombs. You knew the car was stolen. You have some sort of crystal ball tucked in your jacket that can help you prove it? I don't think so. I don't think so. You had an inkling, but not necessarily... Yeah, you don't know exactly. You're off the hook. For now. Is there any consequence for me doing that, by the way? Because it seems like if I can do that, then why can't I just press lie for all of them? Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Ooh. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. <laughs> Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coons. Hey, you're a detective. You can't say that out loud, especially not next to the guy when he's here. Help me out. Oh, no. Please, Phelps. I'm begging you. Get the information out of this clown so we can leave. <laughs> Smoking. Well, Harrison Stress might be smoke. Off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. Hey, Stefan. Which car do you like? Which one do you like? The colors are all pretty muted. Hmm. Isn't there something a little bit flashier around here? Maybe like a bright red? Uh, well, I'll take I'll take the, the light blue here. Thanks, man. Thanks for the car. Wait, why is the, the game well is highlighted here? The cop from the newspaper. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? 
Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Are there any messages for me? A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks for your help. James Velasco, who the hell is that? Well, how did he get to the police station? Did he come in himself or... Huh. Okay, you know what? I want this car. But it's gonna be a pain getting the car out of the lot. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, I guess I can get, um, I can get Stefan to drive us out. And the next time, we'll drive ourselves. Can you drive to this one? Uh, Ooh. where are we going? We have a lot. Wait, so this one is Gene Archer? This one is the Marquee Printing Company. This is the interviewing the guy. Let's try... Why are we going to the... I'm not sure why Cole is focusing on the printing company at all. Are you suggesting that maybe it could be forged? The papers? Hmm, okay. Uh, usually I would go in order, but these two probably involve talking to people. Well, this one too, probably, but I want to go to this one first. No! Wrong car! Wait, what? No, 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 yeah, this car, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What the hell are you doing? A hand grenade and a barrel of oatmeal. I like your thinking, Phelps. <laughs> Call it evidence. The guy's an asshole. You can pick it up at the pound. Oh. Oh! Wait, did I- I stole the car. They commented on it. Damn! <laughs> I wonder if the order I... Ooh, this guy looks suspicious. The order of the places I go into will matter. Because you know you know what if we come here first, but we don't have the information on whoever else? Mm. Well, hello, my friend. Go bug someone else, huh? Okay. Nope. Okay, okay. Sorry. He's had enough. Sorry, sorry. Just want to check around the back first. Before we walk in through the front. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Uh, have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. Mm, this guy looks kind of suspicious. Did you notice that little pause before he answered? Not recently. <laughs> A little bit suspicious. Are we going to talk to him or are we going to like look around first? I don't think there's anything we can find here. Definitely suspicious. A little bit, at least. Sprint 3, gift me, papoose, all that. Oh, because it's a... Um, yeah, it's a printing company. They're showing off all the different fonts. Okay. Well, I trust you've got all that you need. Oh. oh what did you tell me? Hmm. Maybe we can't accuse him of anything because we don't know anything yet. Maybe that's that. Okay, well... I'll... I'll be back. I'll be back, don't you worry. Let's check out the guy at the station then. Auto enthusiast. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car salesmen. Doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line. Just to get the hell out of there. <laughs> well, buying a car is not really like buying groceries, though. Probably want to find a guy you like. Someone, please. Sorry! Excuse me! Excuse me! We're all good. Hey! We've been doing pretty well so far on the damage front. We've only been, yeah, we've only scraped like one car a little bit just now. We're doing good, we're doing good. Ooh, we got these trains here. 
Do they still have these trains in LA? Yeah, because these trains... Tram cars? I don't know what you would call them. They're not something that you can find everywhere. Take the next right. Got it. Any street crimes for me, operator? Oh! Ah, don't jinx it, don't jinx it. I'm doing good. Oh, there's a station. I recognize the, the elevation here. Right here. Detectives, Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. Oh, then it's probably going to link back to the printing company. I want to stop him with one Two? Round. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn ethics. I'm stumped. Ideas? Let's get the interview started. If we do this right, who knows what Belasco might roll over on. Crummy bastard. Excuse me? James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Hey, fuck you, asshole! We gotta get some soundproofing on the in the rooms here. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. How do you know? I can't move it, by the way. I can't. Well, hold on. Can I look at that again? How did I know it was fake? Oh. Suspected arrest. Suspect arrested driving stolen vehicle. Okay. Belasco's ownership papers. Legitimate pink slip made out to James Belasco. Oh, that's his address, isn't it? 146 North Fremont Avenue. Ah, so that's how you know it's fake, because they have the same address. So that means that even if we go to the address there, we might not find Gene Archer. Oh, that's not good. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. I'm a greenhorn? Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> that doesn't give me anything to go off of, though. Blow it off, greenhorn. <laughs> You'll get nothing. Um, I feel like we need to... That's not even something we can say he's lying about, though. Because what, what is so contradictory about this line? There's nothing. There's no information here. But we can try it anyway, because we know that so far, there's no consequences for doing so. You were taking the car to Coombs' car yard. He gives you cash, and the cars get new papers. Who the fuck is Coombs? What are you talking about? Doesn't know him. Doesn't know him. Hmm. So the commonality is the printing company so far. No, I don't... Wait. I don't, uh... No, I think he doesn't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> Looks like I made a mistake. Maybe try... He's not giving us anything though, so uh, even if we say doubt, is that gonna really help? Is it time for me to use intuition again? <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Let's not, let's not keep it and not use it. <laughs> oh, that, that was really, really helpful. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at 10 years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Hmm. Auto theft racket. Hmm. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. <laughs> okay, I know that we can, um... I'm wondering if we can use that slip with the same address to say that he knows her, but... I'm really not sure if that's the right piece of evidence here. Maybe it should just be a doubt? Yeah, my, it's not conclusive evidence though, is it? Unless if they live in the same place. <laughs> we can try it out. 
You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. It kind of sounds like a generic thing. Mm. Let's try the... Yeah, like... I guess we can try it. Although, that connection there is kind of weak. So that's why you both have the same address printed on your pink slips. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. You happy now? Oh, that was a that was a close one. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. <laughs> I'm sure you don't know. I'm sure. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How what? long do you think it'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Hey, we're doing really good today. Nothing wrong so far. Kind of scared. Gonna jinx it now. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East downtown. I don't think we have anything that goes against that. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up. Now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. And we'll see what we can do. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is? I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. If it is. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Uh oh Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightvall. Gordon Lightvall. Here. I wrote it down. Thanks, but we saw him already, too. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Oh. For a second, when this guy came yeah, out, I thought he was, like, somebody related to the guy inside the interview room, and he was gonna, like, bribe me to get him out or something? Because when you... Your GTA oh. suspect, Gene Archer? Spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Where? Oh, if I run? Should I be running? Oh, I feel like I should be driving, but he said less than a minute down the street. I guess we don't have to go to that address anymore. Oh. What are you talking about? Playing? Wait, I think that guy, Ray Pinker, his information was probably for if we missed the printing company information elsewhere. Oh, we should have driven. This is so... Why did I run? Why did I listen to that guy? Oh my god. No, it's in sight. It's in sight. How did you have someone that spotted her, but no one to actually arrest her? Payday loans. Money. It'll only take a little while longer, madam. It's quite a lot of money. What is taking so goddamn so, long? Give me my money or give me my again. check back. She wants her money. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. Hmm. Can't be nicer than my wife. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't <laughs> be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. 
we just jumped right into this. It's not like, hey, we know that you're involved in this and this. It was just like, we know that this is happening. Do you admit to it or not? <laughs> I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it. She did, but uh, do we have any information that goes against that? They're apparently legitimate. No forgery. But then why would the address... Huh. That's kind of weird. Hmm. But she can't be telling the truth. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, <laughs> you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. Just thinking of the short-term profits here. Even Cole is like, you idiot. If you just kept doing what you were doing, you wouldn't have gone caught. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? He gave you out already, Jesus! Come on. Do we have a thing that says... Do we have to use this again? The address? We don't have a thing that says he knows her, but we know he knows her! We know! You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Oh! <laughs> well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know... him. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Um, should I be using this one, then? You aren't sharp enough to lie to me, Gene. You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that too. Bigelow. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? This girl kind of seems like... Look at her. She... She doesn't seem like a bad girl, but she just ended up on the wrong side of life. And maybe, yeah, she needs the money and whatever. I don't think we have... Wait, what did she say? I keep forgetting what they say. I can't remember. Will you let me go, please? <laughs> but we can't have that happening. We know you're guilty. Trying my patience here, Jean. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Now you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to, but yeah, he generally means what he says. It's a little bit... Yeah, back in the day... Women stay in the kitchen, blah blah blah, but I think... Yeah, I think there was more of a focus on the get out of the crime part. Femme imbecile. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, well, do we actually still need to go to the, um, the fake address then? You're behind the wheel. Oh, there's a lot today. All right, where to? Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the fake address. It's an empty lot, right? That's what she said. Friendly girl. Used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? My wife? I know that. But you're not <gasps> blind or dead inside, are you? Stefan! Wait, scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting somewhere. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. And there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. 
but I draw the line at gray. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. I'm <laughs> guessing Stefan's not married. There's no house here. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. Oh? Wait. Wait, did we go to the industrial street address? Or the address on the pink slip? Because I thought we were going to the one with the pink slip. Oh. Stolen vehicle call. Wait, is that is that a street crime thing? No, that's just... Yeah, these are just the places. Okay. Uh, whoa, where are we right now? Hold on, I gotta take out my little book here. Yeah, I didn't go to that place yet. That's 58 Industrial Street, isn't it? Oh, guess we can try the printing company first. Go back to that guy who looks kind of fishy, but we didn't have anything on him. Now we should. We should have a little bit more. Back here, second time today. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. He looks like one of those people who are... They look like a kind old man. But they're actually a snake inside. Look at him! Look at his face! Listen, I'm busy! You know where the door is! Excuse me? Excuse me? I was saying nice things about you. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Hmm. It's doubt or lie. Doubt or lie. Which one? Um. Oh, yes. Multiple pink slips found in possession. This one. Yeah. I think you're in this up to your neck, light bulb. You're out of your mind! What an allegation! I'll report you to your superiors. The chief of police is a very good friend of mine. But then how do you... I don't understand how the slips are like... Like they're legitimate? But they're not! Yeah... Fake address... Okay. A very heartfelt oh. and genuine apology is in order from you, young man. Oh, maybe I was wrong about him being a snake. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Are you kidding me? The slips were... How much is so... Oh my god. But the person who makes the slips, do they know the names of the people on the slips? Because it's not like he's the one directly dealing with the people, right? Uh, he definitely knows them, though. It's doubt or lie, okay? It's doubt or lie. Come on, intuition, give me something good! Oh, people are getting this one wrong. Oh, jeez. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. <laughs> I can't... I don't know how much I trust this guy. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightval? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. See, that's a strange thing to, like, have a truth, doubt, lie system about. Because that's not... That's not something that you need a truth, doubt, lie system for. Sometimes it doesn't really make sense. But I'm guessing we do want him to share those records with us, which would be... Well, we can't force him to say that, you know, we don't have evidence to force him to do it, so I guess it's a doubt? Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? 
Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. This old man broke my streak. God damn it. Now we got one wrong. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Oh my god, they don't have stuff on computers yet. Can't control F. Maybe repeat- Oh, hey, Bigelow! You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightvault. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. That's it? Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Wait, what did he buy? What did Bigelow buy? Slips, obviously. But, uh, two boxes. Oh, the same address! We got the same address here. Bigelow appears about four times here. Has a lot of those pink slips. I'm at a loss. I say it's time to bust open the warehouse. This warehouse? We can't bust it open, can we? No, I don't think we can. Excuse me. What is wrong with your pose? Oh, okay, you're trying to like open the, the drawer or something? Okay. We can't come in here. I think we're done for here. Yeah, I think we're done. Yeah, okay. All right. Hey, whoa, look at this nice car. Can we have it? It's, okay, sorry, sorry. It's just talking to myself out loud. Can we use taxis here? I actually sort of wonder. I'll drive. We're going to... Oh, it's not crossed out, what the heck? Oh, somebody mentioned that it wasn't crossed out because I haven't checked the entire place thoroughly enough. Okay, hold on then. Maybe I do want to walk around here again, just to see. Advice? I say it's time to bust open the warehouse. Do you mean this warehouse or do you mean like the industrial street location? That's what I'm wondering about. Like, am I missing something here? I feel like I'm not, but... Yeah, I mean, we we just looked at this. We know it's not open. Hmm, maybe it's just not crossed out because I'm here right now? I don't know what else you can look at. Because... This is it. We got... Yeah. We can't bust open the warehouse. No. Oh well. Whatever. I'm sure we'll be fine. Back in here. Oh, do you, no, 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 no. Do you want to open your notebook? That's what I'm looking for. Okay, hopefully I'm not missing anything here. Oh, this warehouse. Okay, awesome. Hey, stop honking, dudes. Oh, look at that beautiful turn. Actually adhering to the traffic rules. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I don't have a... I don't have a siren. No. God dang it. It's so inconvenient when you don't have a police car. We gotta flight one down when we see one later on. Whoa, whoa! Straight ahead here. How far away is it? We don't really know. But it's a nice, smooth, straight path. So that's good. So, as far as we know, there's this guy named Bigelow, who we should be really looking into. He seems to be the head here. The Belasco guy and Gene Archer. They were both guilty, but they were like the underlings, so... Not the people that we're looking for if we want to... Really get everything in this operation! When am I gonna get my promotion? Come on, big auto theft racket. I feel like this one could be it. If we can get all of them. Oh, this place is far away. Maybe it's because it's a warehouse location. Yeah, because warehouse lo- Whoa! Mercy. Sorry. Sorry, that was, uh... <laughs> hey, we didn't hit anything. Warehouse locations are usually a little bit more removed from the... 
the urban areas because it's a warehouse. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me! I don't have turn signals! We'll just have to live like this. Ooh, I got my gun out. Are we that cautious? I think we should call for a couple of black and whites. Get Fleischer down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45, don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. Mm, Cole looks kind of nervous. I wonder if he has like PTSD from the war or something. I don't know, Stefan maybe sounds like he's never shot a gun before, cause... It is something serious. It's not something that's like, hey, I wanna have a chance to use my gun. Cole Phelps, LAPD. See the dude. All of you are coming downtown with me. I think so, huh? Let's stop at the cops! We killing them? I'm trying not to aim for their head. Well, where is the, the other guns. people? We gotta go in. What about the guy that's right there? You're pretty brave, Oh! Whoa, there's a lot! There's a lot of people! Where are they? Oh, shoot! I have a wound on my arm. Oh, I didn't want to shoot those. Someone's here, but I can't see them. Oh, behind the car. Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled in the back on the way out. Oh, the guy was here. I think I got his bullets. Someone's above us. Where? You can see the gunshot fire, but I can't see the... Oh, that's Stefan. Can't see where he's aiming at. How long do you think you can hold out? Where are you? Where is he? Stefan? Oh, there you go! Oh, God! Fight. Whoa! Fuck! Try the door at the end. I heard something. Holy... There was only one dot on the- Oh my god, look at me. I am... I am fatally injured. <gasps> oh! Sweet. 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 Alright, alright, don't shoot! Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. Oh, we got the gun at the end. Marquee Printing? Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Yeah. Just means they got the pink slips, right? Betting tickets? Lottery? A betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's that's a great idea, Cole. Pink slips. There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Hmm. So Lightvol might have been giving these slips to them because he was owing a we lot got of money. A trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. We know about marquee printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. 
I don't think we even need to check the notebook for this one. <laughs> don't lie to me. I'm not in the mood for any more lies. The slips are the real deal, and I ordered them from Marquis. He's right. He's right. Now I'm a little bit hesitant. What did he say? I sometimes give us your men on the inside. But he said it right here that he ordered them from Marquis, so it doesn't sound like he's guilty about this. Crap. Looks like I was mistaken. <laughs> he's definitely lying though. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. That's why there is the betting, the betting slips. Lightfall. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. It's one of the guys lying over there. Wow! You're right. He has no luck. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow? Hey, would I lie to you, detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? We should have the thing for the betting slips right here. But will that pro- Mmm, wait. That proves that he knows a light bulb, but it doesn't prove that it's not the guy on the ground there. Does it? Uh, no, it's not this- Let's look a little more. Signed off by Gordon Lightvolt. Maybe this one. Yeah? Gordon Lightvolt owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. He's in hock over 20 grand. If the feds find out, the contracts will be all over. Lightvolt plays ball. All right, Bigelow. The heat is off you. Play your cards right and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. Is Quentin a jail? Hell if I know. <laughs> Ooh, now we go back to the printing place. Again, third time today. Hey guys, stop. Hey. Police here. Get out. I swear. Clear this, this area immediately. To hell. There were dead people inside. It's kind of scary. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. This is why it wasn't so crossed off. Now we know. Stefan, my man. What a mess. Ugh. Gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. But guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightfall, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. Hey, we all gotta make up some lies to keep ourselves rational, okay? Can't fault him for that. <laughs> you think people who do bad things think they're bad people? No, I'm sure they got a whole bunch of rationalizations for it. Hey, my man. I'm back for the third time. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. I'll get you. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. We have to get him on this one, because there's only one question here. But I'm not exactly sure what... Uh, I signed... You'll need something better than that. Uh... Sounds like we need to give him something. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, 
or I call my attorney. Your gambling debts? 20,000! 20,000? This are the betting slips. This one? You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. 20,000? I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightball. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I Thanks, want to Captain. Finish reading this. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. Can we talk about my salary increase sometime? Printer's Devil. God damn it, that one question. Hey, look at that! Vehicle damage zero, injury zero, city damage zero. With a theft racket smashed, Lightvol and his cronies will climb over one another to cut a deal. Then we can get even more information out of them. Awesome! Alright, that went pretty well. A little bit of variety in here too, with how we had to walk out of the station to suddenly run to the post office. Not the post office, the, the payday loan place. Yeah, that was pretty neat. I kind of want to do more shooting segments though, because now I know that you can pick up the bigger guns too. Oh. I'm sure we'll come across more of those sometime, so I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful.